Well, I think it's great that the G8 is focusing on something which is now of uh, huge uh, importance for the uh, world economy, and there are two immediate short-term things that they need to do. They have to figure out a way to uh, really address how to get food to a number of people who are now very vulnerable. Some people are talking about 100 million to 130 million people falling back into uh, poverty. Uh, If that isn't addressed, it could have uh, terrible consequences. And second, because we're at the beginning of a planting season, they need to figure out a way to make sure that small farmers uh, have the wherewithal to be able to take advantage of these high prices and increase their uh, planting. So getting them seeds, fertilizers, and other inputs is required. I think that after they have uh, resolved some of these uh, short-term issues, which include things like getting sufficient funding for important programs like the World Food Program, Uh, The G8 also then needs to think about how to make this uh, uh, into a a force for sustainable development. Uh, The hunger problem in the world is not uh, something which has just come uh, upon us. Uh, The crisis has accentuated it, but it's been with us for some time. And in addition to just thinking about how to increase supply, the G8 needs to think about how to make food affordable for poor people and also how to make sure that targeted interventions are available, particularly for uh, children. That calls for more nutrition programs as well as just uh, thinking about cereals production. Well, right now, uh, food prices have been increasing for a number of different reasons, but I think that uh, uh, they have risen so sharply, at least in part, because of a number of... uh, uh, unstable uh, imbalances in the global economy. Uh, The dollar has been weak, inflation is uh, going up uh, globally, uh, and both of those contribute to putting upward pressure on food prices uh, and putting uh, 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 so-called speculative pressure on food prices. And just like in energy markets, in food markets, there are many people who claim that it's speculators who have, that have driven prices to uh, these kinds of levels. It will be important for uh, uh, the G8 to discuss these broader issues of imbalances in the world economy uh, in order to uh, have a more comprehensive solution.